Hi everyone. I just wanted to do a review today on the movie I saw recently that is quite possibly the best movie I've ever seen in my life. I'm of course talking about the last Airbender movie. I, I saw that and it was pure what I can describe as cinematic gold. Now a lot of you might know The Last Airbender from its cartoon roots. Let me pull up my notes here. What is this? I don't even know. But a lot of you might know The Last Airbender movie from its its roots on a uh, Nickelodeon that it was a American anime that 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 was very popular widely received by people. Basically, the anime was about four different kingdoms that could, could, the anime was about four different kingdoms that could control the powers of the elements, and the last airbender was the only person who could manipulate the, all four elements. I'm really happy that they actually made a movie out of this, because the cartoon series was so good, and the movie definitely didn't disappoint me at all. The movie utilized, the thing I loved the most about the movie is it utilized the best special effects I've ever seen in a movie. That includes you, Michael Bay. Um, um, but another thing I liked about the movie was the fact that it really kind of brought you into this world with its uh, cinematography was really wonderful at this because it really brought you into this world where you believed that once you came out of the movie theater that it should be possible for you to be able to push a rock with your mind or manipulate a pool of water so you could get that pool of water out of the way of your date. What a gentleman. Another thing the movie I felt excelled at was its trueness to the um, trueness to the actual cartoon series. It stayed really true to the story of the first season of the series because it they went to all the different places um, uh, Avatar first season. It stayed true to the first series because Wikipedia tells me that the first book has been adapted into a live action film, and that is the last Airbender movie. And if you don't know, the seasons are actually uh, considered books, not seasons. They're called book one, two, and three, respectively. It revolves around the protagonist, Ang, and his friends, Katara and Soka, going on their journey to the North Pole to find the waterbending master to teach Ang and Katara. The Fire Nation is the bad guys in this, in this movie, and they were, they were really bad. They were good bad guys because, I mean, they're, they're, goals were very defined and they really you knew what they wanted and they were very sympathetic too I mean everyone wants to rule the world I mean they made a song about it so I guess it must be true <laughs> but Wikipedia also tells me that the first season of Avatar was actually won the best TV series and best animated television series in the boys 9 to 14 year old demographic of the 2005 Peninsula Awards which gave awards in excellence in animation. Good job guys. And the first, the last Airbender movie I felt like really lived up to that standard because it was really really well made and the directing by Mr. Manite Shamala uh, was really really insightful and visionary I mean the scene with 
the giant tidal wave. I mean, I was floored at the epicness and proportions of this, of that entire scene. I mean, it really showed off his power. I mean, he brought up the entire ocean wall to scare off the Fire Nation ships because, I mean, the Fire Nation's afraid of water. <laughs> but other than that, there's not really much to say about the movie other than it's really good. I, I highly recommend you guys find it. It's probably on Netflix or Hulu, one of those things. And I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for another review by me, Cameron. Bye. What the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs>